Praise be to Jesus. Hello everyone, Charles with you here. Uh, these are your morning Catholic news briefs for Thursday, October 4th, 2018. 1 Peter 5 has received word that the Michigan Attorney General executed search warrants at the Archdiocese of Detroit Chancery and Sacred Heart Major Seminary. Uh, it says this morning, but actually this was yesterday morning. The search appears to be related to the investigation into the church's handling of clerical abuse opened by the Attorney General's office in August. Sacred Heart Seminary's Vice Rector, Father Stephen Burr, issued an internal memorandum about put out an internal note about the actions of law enforcement this morning, see below. Burr describes the actions taken as a normal part of these types of investigations, but one person with knowledge of this morning's events described the presence of law enforcement this morning as unexpected. And then here's another um, story along the same lines uh, from a different source. The Michigan Attorney General's Office conducted raids on the chanceries of the state's seven Catholic dioceses. Sources in Saginaw confirmed that officials appeared at the chancery in the morning, told staff to leave, and proceeded to search the building. This is the second surprise raid on Saginaw diocesan property this year. The first one conducted in March by the local prosecutor, which turned up, among other things, bags of shredded documents. Hmm. Does your bishop support an investigation? Following the explosive allegations against ex-Cardinal McCarrick and then the testimony published by Archbishop Vigano, it is of great importance that American Catholics know where their bishops stand with regard to the need for an independent, thorough, and lay-involved investigation. Find your bishop's statement and help us track down statements that we haven't listed yet. Now what this is, is uh, I'm just going to go here, go to it. Um, what you see here is there's a map of the United States and it's there are little blurbs that are uh, colored. Um, the colors mean certain things. Um, and then right below that, um, we'll just take one here. All right, so uh, the Bishop of um, Amarillo, Texas gives his name. Um, and he's ranked as neutral slash pastoral. I guess there's some explanation of what that is. And the information they have here is it says um, no mention of McCarrick. But here, let's take another one, like uh, Anchorage, Alaska. All right. So th uh, this is what, if you uh, hover over the right-hand column, it... Um, it gives you the statement of the Archbishop. Uh, at the same time, the, that's what's for uh, Anchorage, Alaska. At the same time, this new revelation of Archbishop McCarrick, many people, priests, laity, and hierarchy, are wondering how this or any bishop might rise to the rank of, you know, and it goes on. Um, you know, it's, I mean, it's not, you know, uh, pages. It, it's just, um, you know, a few paragraphs at, at most. And then, um, you know, like here's uh, Wilton Gregory of Atlanta. Um, this says um, he, uh, he's marked as neutral pastoral. Um, Baltimore um, support the invest, uh, they support the investigation. This, this archbishop, or at least he says he does, um, Baker, I don't know where that is, but, you know, Beaumont, Texas. Anyway, so they have it marked like no public statement that they support the investigation. 
and but they don't support the Vigano statement. Anyway, you know, there's uh, every diocese in the United States is uh, on this list. So, you know, you might be interested in looking at it. Of course, of course I looked up mine. I, I mean, I, I already knew about Kupitz. So, um, but, you know, if you're interested in your own bishop and what he said, uh, or, you know, some other bishop, uh, you might want to take a look at it. So that would be that. Ohio's largest Roman Catholic diocese will join three other dioceses in the state and release a list of priests who have been removed from their posts because of sexual abuse and misconduct allegations. The Diocese of Cleveland's list will include the names of abusive priests, even if they are now dead church officials said Tuesday. The diocese since 2002 has been announcing the names of clerics removed from ministry because of sex abuse allegations, said diocesan spokesman Jim Armstrong. Its website includes 29 names with some of the allegations going back decades. As the doors of the first day of a month-long summit of bishops on young people closed Wednesday, groups that see themselves as excluded, including women and sex abuse victims, protested outside, calling the church to close shop or get real. Close this useless synod or change things for real. The bishops covering up abuse, we all know who they are, should resign. Alessandro Battaglia, who said he was sexually abused by a priest in 2011, told Crux in an interview. And, um, you know, that's pretty much it for the news. Uh, I, there are a few other stories, but I don't, they're not particularly relevant. Um, I, I don't have a need to just bring you uh, you know, I mean, every day I could post 20 stories. Uh, most of them um, aren't really relevant to um, to what the concern of this particular channel is. Uh, maybe if you want other kinds of news stories like abortion or, you know, if you want things like that, um, you can leave a comment uh, for me. Um, of course, if I got a few comments, that doesn't re reflect... Um, you know, everyone, but I, I'll certainly take it into consideration and, and pray about it. So if you want other types of news, I'm happy to do it. Um, so, all right, so for the time being, enjoy your, your day, and uh, I'll remember to put up St. Michael's Prayer. Okay, bye.